New at 6, debate heating up again over a major construction project planned for land near Zoo, Miami. A developer is ready to build a giant shopping center anchored by a Walmart, but the sensitive nature of the land has a lot of neighbors upset. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live at County Hall with more on the controversy. Gary? Well, the development of this environmentally sensitive land looks to be pretty much a done deal, but that didn't keep lots of folks from sounding off about it today before Miami-Dade commissioners. In southwest Miami-Dade, around Zoo, Miami, lies the 140-acre Richmond Pine Rockland, a rare forest among the last 2% of its type in the county. It would be ashamed to destroy the Pine Rockland for a Walmart, for 900 apartments, for a theme park, for anything. But that's what's on the brink of federal approval for this forest. A huge Walmart, housing complex, and other development here where there are things found nowhere else in the world. The Miami tiger beetle, the Miami rock snake. I've seen so much of our natural areas paved over um, and developed. And once they're paved and developed, they're gone forever. Some commissioners say when they approved rezoning the property years ago, the proposed use was downplayed. It was not the idea of a Walmart or anything even remotely close to that. Never mind the potential environmental loss. Critics say the massive development will add to already terrible congestion. Al Sunshine, former longtime CBS4 consumer reporter. The traffic at this point is horrible gridlock. But Mayor Carlos Jimenez's staff has already essentially signed off on the Walmart project, noting the developers have agreed to a host of environmental concessions, including leaving scores of acres of the property untouched. Some commissioners, though, say there's plenty of other land where Walmart could build. We shouldn't really have to be in this position of choosing between economic development and a big box store and our, our habitats. But the commissioner's hands are tied, and the only thing standing between Walmart and the endangered bonneted bat, among other living things, is federal approval expected in the coming months. Now, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has the final say in all of this. They are taking public comment on what should or should not be required on that land as this development goes forward. They're taking comment through May 22nd. You can learn how to make your comment heard at CBSMiami.com. We're live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Gary, thank you.